Hi, it's Mary, a traditional Chinese medicine tutor and an acupuncturist in Canada. Today's video will discuss the main content of traditional Chinese medicine theory so that we have a big picture of what TCM theories look like. The basic content of traditional Chinese foundational theory includes several parts. First is the theory, the qi theory, the qi modernity theory, yin yang theory, and the five element theories. Those are the three ancient philosophies guide the, the establishment of traditional medicine. When we practice Chinese medicine, we are guided by those philosophies. Our thinkings are always trying to go back to the theory, to the philosophy part. Use philosophy to identify the root of the disease and the, identify the treatment of the disease. We are going to talk about the visceral picture theory. Another word to describe it is the zhang fu organ theory. Inside our body, there is a zhang organ, heart, lung, and the middle part we have spleen, and the lower part we have the kidney and the liver. That's the five zhang. And then we have six fu related to the five zhang organs. They are the small intestine related with heart, large intestine paired with the lung. Then go down to the middle part, to the middle jaw. We have the stomach is the fu associated with the spleen. Side of it is the liver. Liver. By anatomy, it's almost on the middle part, so-called middle jaw. Because the function of the liver closely connected with kidney, the liver, in TCM idea, it belongs to the lower jaw, lower part of the body. The gallbladder is a organ associated with the liver. On the lower part, Unitary bladder is a full organ associated with the kidney. In this way, five zhang organs, we have five full organs. However, we have six full organs. The actual one is called the triple energizer, which is the pathway it's inside our body. There's many spaces. Those spaces is the place where the qi and the blood can move around. The place for circulating the qi and the water is called a triple energizer. That's the six full organs. Why we say visceral picture? But not using the plain and the straightforward term zhang fu organ theory. It's because we are not directly study the zhang organs itself. We're not study the material itself. We know everything has the physical part and the function part. Instead of just looking at the anatomy organs, we look at the function of it. TCM believes the human body is integrated. Through inspection of physiological and the pathological manifestations outside, one can figure out the physiological functions and the pathological changes of the internal organs of the body. That's the called the visceral picture theory. That's at the higher level than study the material itself. Your heart, by the x-ray, there can be no problem, but you can still feel depressed, dream, disturbed, sleep, a lot of issues. That's the difference between how you define what is the zhang fu organs. TCM way, instead of study the physical zhang fu organs, but focus on the functions of the viscera. You're going to study the vital body substance, which are essence, qi, blood, and the body fluid. Think about those four body substances. They are circulating inside of our body. It's kind of a family. You need money to produce money. Our body, the zhang fu organs, in order to survive, to function well, those zhang fu organs need essence, qi, blood, and the body fluid to survive, to function. When they function well, they can produce new rounds of essence, qi, blood, and the body fluids. In this way, our life can maintain and sustain. Another one is meridians. Meridians is also part of the foundations. Meridians are super important for us to understand the connection between those separate zhang fu organs, because those zhang fu organs are actually not separated. 
they interact with each other. The connection is the meridians. Meridians is really a key for understanding many ideas. They are superficial pathway, but also have an internal pathway. Whatever you can needle is the superficial point. From there, it connects to the inside. Why the connection? The shoulder pain, maybe you treat from the hands, or shoulder pain you treat from the leg. Why? There's a reason, there's a connection. Channel would be the one connecting the inner part with the outer part. Foundation will cover the etiology and the pathological mechanism. The cause of disease is the etiology. The etiology has external ones, internal ones. And the pathological mechanism talking about how those causes leading to disease. After that, we're going to talk about the diagnosis and the syndrome differentiation. So-called syndrome differentiation is finding the root of the problem, diagnosis, including the full examination method, belong to the theory of foundations of traditional medicine. Last one is principles for prevention and the treatment of a disease. Prevention is a big part of traditional Chinese medicine. We rather treat the disease before the disease happened instead of after it already happened or after it already go really really bad for example when people say oh i could not sleep i always woke up at night especially from one o'clock to three o'clock at midnight always woke up at that time tcm my dear tell you this person's liver had a problem usually in that situation you have to treat problems associated with the liver very likely the patient will say, oh, I just did a physical exam of my liver. My doctor checked my liver. There's no problem. Until one day there's a fibrosis or the cyst inside. There's an actual change of the liver can be detected by the machine. Until that time, they started to talk about how to treat the disease. But the TCM way of thinking is before there's any change in the liver, you already know there's a problem. You treat from there, it's much easier, and you're not going to have that problem at all. That's the prevention of the disease. Prevention is before it happens. Another is before it becomes worse. For example, people have liver problems. Liver is wood. In the five element system, it belongs to wood. We know wood conquered the earth. The earth is stomach and the spring. Usually, when people have a liver problem, if it's getting worse, the stomach and the spring would be affected. We need the stomach and the spring to survive. Without the stomach and the spring, you cannot eat. Without the food, without transform the food into the nutrition, the food stuff essence or the nutrition our body need, you are not going to survive. So we will try very hard in TCM to protect the function of the stomach and the spring. With people has a liver disease, we will not just treat the liver, we will treat the stomach and the spleen to make it strong, to protect the stomach and the spleen from being attacked by the liver. That kind of thinking is the prevention, prevent the disease further transmitted to another or affect another organs. That's the prevention and the treatment would be if there's an excess problem, we will reduce it. If it's a deficient problem, we will tonify it. If it's a cold problem, we will use the warm herbs to improve the body yang qi to balance it. Or if it's too hot, we are going to reduce it, reduce the heat. The treatment would be very different. That's everything we're going to cover in the foundations of traditional Chinese medicine. Next thing, after you understand this, you're going to apply this into your clinic practice. While you're practicing, you go back to the theory again. With the practice, you're going to have a better and a deeper understanding. The theory is always there after 10 years, 20 years. After this many years, we are still talking about the same thing. All about this is just each time people's understanding are quite different. If you find this video helpful, please give me a like, subscribe to it, and share it with others. See you in my next video. All the best.